And we are part of the Pierre to Beta program because we like the community approach uh, to robotics. For us, it's uh, an amazing vehicle to explore certain technologies um, and do a sort of uh, a long-term uh, research investment. Bosch is mainly an automotive supplier with close to 300,000 employees all over the world. And uh, then there is the consumer goods, washers and dryers, and also power tools. The three things that we wanted to contribute to the peer to beta program and to the open source community um, are technologies about making a robot more safe, more capable, and more affordable. This particular demo is about the peer to remote lab project, which builds the basics for uh, operating robots through the web. Teleoperating where a user is remote uh, is sometimes uh, very difficult and also dangerous for the robot itself and the environment. Um, and there we are looking into technologies on the software side of things where the robot is just smarter when you teleoperate it. We, um, we built quite some software infrastructure that allows uh, to work with ROS over the web. Uh, but also on the hardware side where we're investigating into um, new sensors that can be applied on different places on the robot to uh, avoid and sense uh, obstacles smarter. What we are seeing here is a demo where the PI2 tries to fold up a t-shirt and he tries to manipulate it while it's hanging in, in free air. So what it does, it creates a 3D representation as a point cloud of the hanging t-shirt and then tries to figure out where would be uh, a good place to grasp it or not. So we see like these fiducial markers which identify the portions of the shirt and it actually uses like both arm cameras and the, the head cameras to detect those in 3D space. So once it has it figured out where to grasp it, it will decide on a grasp and it, this process will repeat until it has actually um, grasped uh, the shirt by its shoulders and from then on it can um, just fold it on a table. Uh, up to now we're also interested in, in some applications with the Pier 2 and there we'll show uh, an application where the Pier 2 uses uh, Bosch power tools to carve wood plates. One thing we are particularly interested in is um, bringing the cost down of a robot like the Pier 2. For example, the arms of the Pier 2. Things that make up the cost are uh, very high precision motors, um, encoders on the arms. Bosch has a major business right now in the automotive industry. And through that business, uh, Bosch has developed a number of um, sensing technologies, such as low cost uh, uh, accelerometers and gyroscopes. And what we propose uh, for the Pier 2 beta program is to actually transfer some of those uh, technologies to um, the robotics. Uh, community and specifically to the uh, Pier 2 as a robot.